In this video we're going to show you how to set up the plugins to make your blog automatic. So what we need to do is log back into our blog. Click on Site Admin. And we also need to open up our control panel. And we need to go home here. Okay, now with the package came a folder called Packaged. In here you'll see commands and you will see plugins. So what we have in plugins is a plugin called Feed WordPress and that's what makes WordPress automated. So all we need to do is upload that into the plugins directory. So here's how we do it. Go back to your cPanel then click on File Manager, then click on public underscore HTML, the little file folder. Yours may not use public HTML, it may use something else like FTDocs or something like that. And if you're not sure, you need to contact your hosting provider and find out where web documents need to be located to be visible on the web. In this case, it's public underscore HTML, so just click on the file folder. And then find where we installed our blog, which is dog training in this case. Now, you may have installed it in the root directory, and if you did, you'll see something like this in there. Then we need to go into the directory called wp-content. So click on the little file folder to the left and then to the one called plugin. So click on a little file folder to the left. Now we need to upload the plugin. So click on upload files and then you can browse for it on your computer. So we'll find it on here. select plugins, feed WordPress, and there it is. Now, just click on the upload button here, and in a few seconds your screen will flash and it will tell you over here that it has uploaded it. Now we need to upload the little program that actually does the posting for us, and we find that in the same file as the, as the plugin. So just click on upload folders and browse and then click on updatefeeds.php and click the upload button. And this has been uploaded into the current folder which is wp-content. Your plugin was in the plugins folder within here. So this is the little program that actually posts the feeds for you. And inside the plugin folder that is where the feed WordPress part goes, just to be clear. Now that the plugins uploaded, we need to go back to our dashboard and click on plugins. You'll see that feed WordPress is now in here. So what we need to do now is activate it. Plugins are not activated when they're first installed. So you need to click on activate and it says plugin activated and it will be green in color when it's activated. If your plugin is not green, it is not activated, and it will say deactivate beside it if it is activated. Okay, so Feed WordPress is now installed. Now we're not ready to set up syndication yet. What we want to do now is set up our blog to look better, find a nice template to use, and modify that. Then we will get to the syndication part and make our blog automatic. So we're done now with this video. In the next video, we will go over setting up our blog template.